American man and a Russian man spent more than 161 hours in a helium-filled balloon together to set those records. They crossed the Pacific Ocean before landing safely off the coast of western Mexico. Their takeoff point? Japan last Sunday. Their total miles traveled? 6,600. Unlike some other record-breaking balloon trips, this one involved a balloon that did not use a heat source to stay afloat. So what does that mean? Instead, it ran on helium and was controlled by the pilot, releasing some of the gas during the day or throwing off sand or water at night. The journey means the men beat the gas balloon records for distance and duration. The records won't be official until they're certified, though, a process which could take months. The most recent helium balloon travel distance record, according to Guinness World Records, was set by Jonathan Trapp in 2010 when he logged more than 13 hours of sky time. This new record certainly surpasses that. If they're registered in the same category, as I mentioned, the records will not be official until they are certified, and that could take a couple of months. What do you do in that <laughs> balloon for that long? First of all, I am afraid of heights. Right. So my balloon would be right on the ground. <laughs> Pull it with some wheels. Right. <laughs> and have like a slideshow right. go by. Would you ever do that? No. Mm. I'm, I'm, no. Let's, let's say no. be honest. There's a world record for everything. There really is, because when I looked at the last one. See? Everything. We could set a record around here for some We probably have. HGH. <laughs> hey, girl, hey. I'll look it up. Okay, please do.